Hello everybody, I hope that you are doing very well and welcome back to another cryptocurrency technical analysis where in today's video I'm going to be going through how I am currently trading Bitcoin and the targets that I am looking for. So I hope that you thoroughly enjoyed this video. Let's keep it nice and peaceful and loving. Uh, and yeah, let's go through some technical analysis here. So clearly we have been over on you know more quite a sideways movements over the last few weeks okay so overall on the grand picture we've been stuck in this sideways kind of range now coming down towards the low of the range okay so you know always the question first is why are we seeing this move down right now okay and in my opinion it was because we had seen this well really clear we had the weekly resistance at 7629 okay held it down once held it down twice okay and you obviously got that few hundred dollar move to the downside from that but bulls did recover, okay, and then they got this, what was this now, yesterday, so one day ago, they got the, you know, flush pump to the upside, unfortunately though, ending in this swing failure pattern, or unfortunate, I guess, for the people on the wrong side of the trade, but, um, you know, it's going to have taken out a lot of people's stop losses, you know, it's, it's kind of a liquidity run, okay, so you run up, you take the stops, and then you come back down, okay, on this candle to the upside, there was a lot of liquidations, okay, so we see the liquidations, we see the stop run, and, uh, you know, the, the real sign of it being a swing failure pattern is obviously the pump, and then coming back into the downwards channel, okay? Downwards channel, take the liquidity, you know, and that's the reason, in my opinion, of why we are going down right now. Um, so obviously I shorted this on my main account, shorted it on my challenge account that I do for the Champions live streams. And um, yeah, I was entering into those shorts while we're actually moving down right now. So this is very nice, actually. <laughs> um, yeah, so as you can see, I'm in a short position on this account right now. Stop loss, I have got my stop loss above for me, which is a key level of uh, 7,425 is a key level for me. So obviously, I've currently got my stop at 7,428. But... Um, yeah, long lower wick, actually, we can see here. I'm going to try and speed this video up quite a little bit. Let's, let's go through this. So, obviously, what we can see right there, we've actually just dropped down onto the daily level that I was looking at, okay? So, for me, uh, this is, yeah, this is a pretty key level. The low of that wick being... 7,175. If we actually close back above, if we get back, start to get back above 7,220, obviously the lows of the last wicks, uh, this could be potentially a low for the rest of the day. Okay, I'm, I'm not going to say long term low, but potentially for the next few hours at least, that could potentially be the low that, you know, gives a little bit of uh, relief here. If you manage to claim 7,220, obviously not happened thus far. Uh, but yeah, the way that I'm managing this is is more so, uh, well, one of the, you know, this is the difference. Obviously, as you can see here on this main account, uh, sorry, on this uh, little challenge account, I haven't actually locked in any profits and I'm just trading stops. But the way that I trade it on my main account is, is slightly different because obviously I'm actually trading that one in the day. Um, you know, the way that I like to do my, manage my trades is like when I get a short position from higher up, I do like to take profits at key levels and then short back on higher. OK, so for example, here, as you can see, you know, entering into shorts around here, you know, the, we get the, the drop down to the weekly level. OK, so the EG, that's that's, you know, when you're short or this is the way that I manage the trades. If I'm short here, I will take profit. So let's let's say, for example, I'm short 100,000 contracts. OK, short 100,000 contracts drops down into support. Well, then I'll close out 30,000 contracts contracts as profit okay and then as we get the rise that old support of the parallel channel flipping into resistance that 30,000 contracts I took as profit I will add on to um, you know back into the short and that is how I manage my trades in my opinion very successfully and very well okay so now obviously dropping down to the daily level you know if I was actually on my main account right now I would take profits and then look to add on you know obviously there's no guarantee you get that next rise but the way I like to manage it is take profits there add back on higher uh, and obviously at the same time you are trading down stop losses um, so then obviously once you hit your compounds because it's not going to work every time one time you're going to hit your compound and it's going to come up and take your stop loss that's why you trail your stop losses down basically but um yeah, uh, I'm pr very, I must can say, I'm very content with the move down that we are seeing right now. And it's really not been anything to be uh, surprised about. You know, there is no reason for me uh, to have been bullish over the last few weeks. We, we, we are in a downtrend. You have to remember, we're in this macro downtrend, okay? So we are now, over the last few months, you know, it's just been, you know, relentlessly moving downwards here. So uh, when you're at resistance in a downtrend you, you don't you don't want to be under the, the under the impression of it's going to be different this time you're more under the impression of short of shorter rallies okay and obviously there's going to be a time where that doesn't work out okay and you will get a really nice relief rally but uh you know we'll, we'll see those signs when they're there that you know the signs are currently not there uh you can see some key levels that i'm looking at here are really for me seven thousand uh you know the seven thousand psychological level okay 
being the fibs, also being an area of support on the chart. So really looking for around 7,000 psychological. Uh, we'll have to see how it goes with this one hour close. I guess the four hour close happening in two hours. Uh, see if it closes above or below this daily, okay? So I'd say real key important levels in the short term are 7,220 being the lows of those wicks that I just showed you. So 7,220 and uh, yes, yeah, 7,192 being the daily. You close below this and I would be under the impression that we're going to be pushing down over to those seven, that, that's it, this 7,000-ish level. Obviously lower the wicks being 7,080. Could find a bit of support 7080 7136 for me i like to watch the reactions off this level eg volume order flow like seeing everything that's coming into this level before i like to make um you know uh say how i'm going to be trading I, I am very much at this moment in time a level to level trader what i mean by level to level trader it's like watching the reactions off that that level and then making an informed decision rather than having bids waiting at the level essentially like knife catching or even taking profit on a knife catch i like to wait for the reaction and then make an informed decision okay that's the way that i currently am liking to trade this and that applies to altcoins as well okay across the board as you can see the altcoins have been absolutely smashed today haven't taken a single altcoin trade um i'm more than happy just trading bitcoin if i'm totally honest with you all when the volatility is like this okay Obviously, on this account, I've not done anything today, but obviously on my main account, I do like to, you know, I just enjoy scalp trading, basically. So I'll be like trading the up and down movements we have actually from, obviously, you can see here from today, even from the high down to the low. The reason why we're moving down right now is obviously you did reject from the 618. So there's just so many trades off of this level, you know, every day. But um yeah, I hope this 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 section has been helpful for you all uh, to give you an understanding uh, of how I'm trading this. I am expecting slightly lower levels, but I would like to, you know, as mentioned, see the reaction now if we push up from 7,220 to sort of make an informed decision of shall I take some more profits here? Shall I, how shall I manage my stop losses? Um, but ultimately, yes, I am, must say, I am expecting lower prices. I hope that you enjoyed the transparency of me, like, posting position sizes, showing you, like, the, this, this account I'm absolutely happy to show you all. But, um... Yeah, I hope that you are, appreciate the transparency because many traders, they will give it large. Okay, they'll, they'll tell you everything on Twitter, but the likelihood is they have zero money on the line. And there, I've said many times, there is totally a difference between charting, okay, and posting something on Twitter or social media and actually having money on the line. And you have to remember, trading is my main source of income. It is where I make the large majority of my money. And... Um, you know, I hope this transparency, you appreciate me doing it, okay? Um, and I want to end on a little bit of a side note, a little bit for me, a, a real much of a shame, uh, because I like to think of myself as a very positive, happy person that gives back to the community, okay? I'm, I'm under no obligation to do the things I do. And I, and I do like to give back because, well, personally, I just really enjoy helping people. But lately, there has been an influx of of trolls on all my comments um and this this was a little bit of a backlash at the identity and I, and I do feel slightly bad by like writing comments like this um because you know obviously you can pause and read this yourself but um yeah this is i guess it's out of character for myself from saying things like this obviously in trading it's it's a you know somebody has to win for somebody has to lose and obviously i enjoy winning but um you know, obviously, I've received some comments from people saying, you know, that I've changed. I, I really don't want to say that I have changed. You know, I had money before I started doing YouTube. Like, I've not suddenly gained loads of money from doing this. Like, I've always had the same amount of money over the last few years. So, like, I really don't agree with that any money has changed me, if I'm honest with you. But, obviously, as I've, like, responded to this, I have increased an increasingly amount of trolls. And, you know, when all I do is try and help people, the... the, the the trolls do kind of affect me. I, I really want to say that it doesn't, but it naturally does slightly, if I'm honest with you all. Um, so yeah, I, I don't want people to think that I have changed or I've got some sort of ego or anything like this. You know, I'm still the same person. Um, but another unfortunate thing that has been happening today, so I'm not sure if you've noticed, but if you try and go on to chartchampions.com, the website, you know, the website has been down today. And then unfortunately, um, you know, I start receiving messages from you know, people like, uh, you know, supposedly attacking the website, bringing down the website. I don't really know how it works, but attacking the website and essentially bringing down the whole of the website so people cannot access it, uh, you know, demanding that I send them money to bring the website back online. Every tweet that I post seems to just get random 
hate comments. It is slightly frustrating this side of things. If I'm totally honest with you, this is slightly annoying um, because you know it's it's then a waste of my time having to sort this out. Um, yeah, it, it's it's a little bit annoying. I'm sure you can appreciate it. It's also a bit annoying when, personally, all I do is try and help people. Um, yeah, I just don't understand why I'm a target. But nevertheless, I guess as people have like mentioned some words of support that you know the the bigger it gets, the more people you get that try and you know feed off of that. You know, just like I've mentioned in the last video wasn't it you know there, there's people coming around and oh i don't know i can't find the tweet now but you know there's people coming around and uh you know pretending to be me um yeah just scamming people you know they're setting up fake email addresses they're setting up fake twitter accounts impersonating me getting people to send them money it's just absolutely crazy some of the stuff that's going on right now and it does for me like it's just really upsetting to know that there's people like this in the world that really try and take advantage of people like this. It, it is kind of heartbreaking, I guess. Um, you know, because I am such a positive person and I know that I've totally gone away from technical analysis right now and I, I, I totally apologise about this because I know the vast majority literally couldn't care less about what I'm saying right now. And for that, I do thoroughly apologise, but I just really wanted to vent, I guess, some of the uh, things that I'm feeling. I, I just, firstly, I, I, I hate to, th to think that people... You know, like that's like some of the, you know, I guess people that I would say are supporters of myself or people that have followed me a long time. You know, some of these people have probably been following me two, three years. Um, you know, and that for them to think that, um, you know, I've changed or become less humble from some of these comments, you know, it has just been a build up of the constant comments on Twitter from people. You know, I'll post something and they'll just have some salty sort of reply. Um, you know, the build up of that and then to top it all off, this um, was probably the. the, the worse you know people are just bringing down my website for and then you know demanding i pay them money to bring it back online you know that that is just you know the worst type of person you can be i guess and this sort of influx generated me to bring a little bit of a snatch back like that but i, I you know you all know it's not me um so I, I do apologize for that but i hope that you can understand some of my reasonings i guess um so again a, a real big apologies i've even had to like give time of day to this sort of comments and i know I understand I need to block it all out and I need to, you know, just ignore them. But, you know, when this start, stuff starts happening where people are like literally bringing down the website and then demanding money to have it back online, it is, um, you know, annoying. Obviously, you know, I have zero intentions of paying this person. So, you know, I'm not going to be paying them. I don't give in to ransom. That is not how I work, how I operate, any of my morals. So, unfortunately, this guy is not going to get paid. But, uh, unfortunately for him, but, um, you know, there's... Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to be ending with, obviously, yeah, uh, I guess people are a bit, a bit jealous. If I'm honest, probably jealousy because, you know, let's be honest, I have been doing very well for myself on in trading, but uh, who knows. Um, I hope that you have all enjoyed this video. Uh, I hope that you've, it's been clear the levels that I'm searching for. Obviously, 7,720. If we actually reclaim that now, it would be uh, obviously back above the daily. We're currently, you know, below it. So getting above 7,220 would then be back above this daily level. But, um, yeah, I hope that you've enjoyed this video. I, I really, really apologise for having to, to vent my, my frustrations during this video. But for me, it was a little bit therapeutic. Um, so, yeah, thank you once again. From the bottom of my heart, I, you know, I appreciate every single one of you. I don't think that I'm better than anyone else. You know, I literally, at the end of the day, you know, yes, I do trade with millions. If I'm honest, you know, I do have this money to trade with. Like, literally just for trading. But I literally couldn't care less. I do not think I'm better than anyone else. And at the end of the day, I, I couldn't care less about money. Like money for me is is zero aspect. I, I have no association with money. You know, that's not how my brain works. I'm much more of a people person, you know. I just want to really stress that. Um, you know, I definitely, money has definitely not changed me. Oh, I'd like to think it hasn't anyway. Um, so, you know, apologies if some people have taken some of my stuff the wrong way or whatever but uh yeah thanks everybody i'm gonna i'm gonna wrap it up here i don't want to waste any of more of your time uh thank you once again and in the next video back to positivity and uh yeah well for me just continuing the trades as always you know during this whole range it has just been amazing trading if i'm honest and yeah may long live that continue i guess uh so thank you once again and i'll catch you in the next video cheers and uh 
I want to say again, sorry, but thank you. Cheers, everybody. Good night. Bye. <laughs>